Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining. We are gonna be making Teenage Bell off the mat today, and I'm super excited because we're doing so many cool things with this one. Um, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. As always, I appreciate all the support. All right, you ready? This one is so fun because we've got so many cool pieces to it. So I'm gonna bring it over just to talk about it really quickly. So, Teenage Belle, she's wearing, I have a matching shirt to go with it, so I'm super excited about that. So a yellow shirt, which you'll see me wear when I take the picture. I am in love with this. This is for her jeans. So it's got like this um, printed look to it. Um, let me get that for you because it's actually really, really cool. It's this paper, which I got from Joann's, and it's from Coordinations. And the thing that puzzled me is I had seen this on Instagram for a split second. You can sand it, tear it, emboss it, and then, of course, fall in love with it. So it's got this texture to it. I tried to mess around with it, and I just wasn't, I didn't get it. So if anyone, if you guys have seen it, I don't know, let me know what you think about it. Um, okay, so she's got a matching shirt with me, the jeans. I love all that. But what I'm really excited about is Teenage Belle is holding this stuffed teddy bear. And, I mean, I feel like this just pops out. Like, look at the colors. Like, compared, look at the black even, right? So this is HTV, and it's the, the, um, the flock so it's like suede-ish, velvet-ish. It's just, the color is amazing. And then the feel of it is that velvet texture. So it's gonna be like a teddy bear, which I'm so excited against the paper. It's gonna be so cool. The other cool piece is, da da da, -da is her shoes. Um, and her shoes, we did a brand new technique. <laughs> I wanted the shoes to have that look and feel of, you know, like that leather that we feel or whatever that material is on a tennis shoe, right? So I applied the HTV, so the heat transfer vinyl, iron on vinyl. I ironed the white onto white cardstock so that it becomes, you know, like one type of new material. And then I sent it to the Cricut and it cut out like this. So this shoe, I wish I had a regular white cardstock to show you. This shoe looks and feels like a tennis shoe. I'm so excited. So, okay, we're going to put this aside. We're going to glue all this together and piece it together. And it's going to be amazing with all the other pieces, all the other bell pieces as well. So we have two bell pieces completed. I'm going to show you that at the end after we put this one together. So like with all of our off the mat pieces, let's get started with the black background. So these are big pieces. I did use 12 by 24 cardstock because, because I can and I wanted to. <laughs> all right so this is one this is the right side so she's big she's 33 inches so that's one piece right so i'm going to flip it over she's basically in four gigantic big pieces um and she's got one small little piece by the ear okay so the way i like to put the back is flip it over because we're going to tape from the back side i like to lift one side against the other piece so that it's as seamless as possible when I'm taping it down. We know that the colors are going to sit on top, so we're just kind of applying all techniques to make this as seamless as possible because she's going to look amazing at 33 inches. She's got no seams in any of the colors except for the black. So the black background is the only place you're going to see the seams and we're doing everything that we can to minimize the seams. And that starts with taping it like this. The other thing is, you know, using the grid of squares to like make sure that all the, no, that's not where it goes <laughs> to make sure that, um, 
you know, all the pieces line up, that there aren't any gaps. All of it is important. It all adds up. It's like, it's all the little things that matter at this point. Okay. So these two pieces go like this. So I'm going to take these two pieces and tape it together. And then we'll tape the whole thing together. So for me, it's like all the corner pieces go together. Uh, we know that there aren't any gaps. We know that there aren't any overlays. <laughs> so, you know, it's like I said, it's, it's all the little things that we can do to make it seamless. Um, my, you know, it's a big pet peeve of mine. Um, I tried it once, but there's a right size for all your projects. And I don't think making something huge with distracting seams is worth, um, is worth it. So, whoa, well, that's just me. <laughs> okay, so we've got one more piece. Where does this piece go? This piece goes like right here. So it's just her little ear. Her hair is going to cover it and her ear is going to cover it, I believe, if this is her ear. Um, and I like to tape the edges right here because what happens is it's going to lay flat because we're going to glue it flat to the foam board, but any little wiggle room there is going to catch the light and it's gonna bring your eyes, it's gonna get your attention. So we want this to be taped down really well at the edges. All right, so here we go. We're gonna now add this to this and we've got our black background and we're gonna start putting all the pieces together, all the colored pieces on top and it's gonna look so good. I'm so excited about this file, uh, Salty Yankee. She has a website, The Salty Yankee. You can get the same image it's a great, great file. She's a great SVG artist. Um, she did this for me uh, for Together We Rise because we're using the teddy bear. That's their, that's their mascot and it's gonna be for our fundraiser. So she's amazing with all her amazing files. I've been using her files a lot. So I'm excited about that. Kayla is great. And okay. So I'm gonna flip it over. Now we have her. So I'm going to flip her like, um, she's gonna be at an angle a little bit because I feel like that's, we'll get the most of her down. I'm gonna make, I'm looking at her image in front of me so that I can see where everything goes. Okay, so let's start putting this stuff down. I mean, look at, oh no, this teddy bear. I mean, ha, ah, so cute. <laughs> Um, this little guy goes here. And this is her. Oops. So I had to cut this twice because there's a little bit of a stain right here. I don't think you can see it, but I've got the right piece down. Let's get her arm. So at 33 inches, and the reason why I went with 33 inches is so that this piece right here, I mean, look how long it is. It's like my arm. Um, it is all seamless. So the design space tutorial will walk you through how to size something so that you, um, well, where does this go? Somewhere over here. <laughs> uh, so that you know how big something should be. Here's her cute little shirt. see her jeans her jeans are so cute okay we're 
everything is coming into place. Let's see. We've got cuffs that kind of match, but don't have the same, um, the same color. So what am I looking at here? This one does go, oh, up here. I'm like, what is going on here? The shoe we're gonna put on later because it's all those pieces. Um, what am I missing? Okay. Now we have three bells, right? And each bell has a different shade of brown for her hair and her eyes. So I'm looking forward to showing you guys that. Almost. Let me move her down so you can see her face. All right. Um, we've got a little. Okay, here's the band aid. Look at that. Oh my god, this teddy bear. <laughs> so stinking cute. Got little stitches. is her right, no, her left eye. So you see it's all coming together. Uh, it's stuck in my fingernail. Okay, there we go. I saw a pink piece earlier. Oh my goodness, where did it go? Ah! Oh, I threw it away. Here we go. Like, I saw a pink piece. Okay. That's not the right pink. That's not the pink I'm looking for. Every time I've been working on Bell, I've been missing pieces. It's unbelievable. Okay, so I'm missing her upper lip. I'll have to recut that, but that's okay. We can still 
do almost everything on this piece. What am I looking at? It goes like this. Okay. Okay, so. So cute, right? Um, and then her shoe. So let's bring her shoe over. I can't believe I'm missing the lip. <laughs> okay. Um, so the shoe is... I'm going to move this up so you can see the shoe detail. And then you can kind of see, like, we still need to make some adjustments here, right? So I don't like to glue or tape anything down until all the pieces are here so that you can start to make the adjustments. So this right here, the shoe, the top is HTV, the bottom is cardstock. So it's super, super cool. I can't believe we, it worked. So again, if you missed that, what I did was I um, did the HTV first. So I put the HTV, I heated up the HTV, put it on the cardstock. And then, and then I sent it to the Cricut to get cut. So that I didn't have to iron on the individual pieces. The paper that I sent to get cut on the mat, on the sticky mat, was HTV on top already applied to the cardstock on the bottom. Okay, this piece right here, I need to, it didn't cut super cleanly. And that's my blade, I think. And I want to make sure all the little dots are out. So let me clean that up before we put it down. Okay. So cute, right? Okay. So this piece really didn't cut cleanly, cleanly. So I'm gonna need to take, oh, I think I can just fold it back and rip it off, actually, no. I'll do this. I'm just actually taking my fingernails and just rubbing it, okay. And then I'm gonna poke out these little holes that didn't, that just need a little extra help to get out. I need glasses <laughs> like old lady glasses you know like the reading glasses that's why I'm scared to take the exacto knife because I'm worried that <laughs> I'm gonna cut past where it's not supposed to go all right let me see where this goes so this goes somewhere like that
And you know, the reason why it didn't cut well, and that's really, it's because I was still experimenting. I didn't know what setting to cut it on. I think I ended up going with glitter cardstock, but I could be wrong because now I can't remember. <laughs> This little piece needs to be trimmed off as well. Okay, where does this piece go? Oh, over here somewhere. Okay, so I need to fix some of this down here and move this aside okay so what we do know is I'm gonna do that part so I want to start making some adjustments here we know where her face with her ears we know the hair comes down right like that. So, she's missing her lips, so I know it looks weird. Let's see, this is off there. Oh my gosh, so cute, right? Okay, so let me, let me bring the other two bells. We've got, this is the oldest bell. So this is what she's gonna look like. So her hair is very, they're different, they're two different colors. Um, look at the eyes, the eyes I did different colors too. So this is one bell. I'm scared to put her down. Okay. And here's toddler bell. So they're all very similar, but different. Um, and I just love it, <laughs> right? It looks so good. So we've got to finish up Teenage Belle. Let me move all these pieces. Now the way uh, you're gonna do this is <clears throat> make sure that you like your alignment. This is the only time to really fix it because after this, you're just gluing down. So you wanna make sure that everything is where you want it to be. And and then I'm gonna use Barely Art glue and just start gluing piece by piece down. So, I wanna make sure that it's, you know, the outline is kinda even, so nothing looks like it's too spaced out. There, I think that looks good. Kind of hard with the face. Okay. So as you saw that, that's too much of a space, right? So we want to put it kind of, so it splits the difference. Sometimes it's really hard to move these pieces. 
without messing up everything else. Ah. Oh. Okay. There, I think that looks good. <laughs> Keep in mind, there's an upper lip that's missing over there. We're going to do that. Um, all right. So I'm going to start doing this. We're going to glue it down piece by piece. And I would just lift a piece up and glue it down. Um, I think one of the easier pieces will be the teddy bear. So once it's down, it's down. Um, I might do this arm first. So here's my Braille Art glue. And I'm not gonna glue this whole thing down with you because it's just a tedious process. Um, I'm going to meet back up with you when we put all of this on a foam board. So, everything gets taped down. Or not taped down, glued down. I apologize. Okay, I think it's all in place. I need to recut the lip. <laughs> and I think that's the only thing we're recutting. Everything else cut perfectly. And, alright, so let's glue down this arm so I can show you what that looks like. So, I'm going to gently lift this up and you can see this is this is the precision tip which I love not a lot of glue comes out you have a lot of control over it and I'm going all the way to the tips Ooh. Almost knocked it out of my hands. Okay. just felt like I moved everything <laughs> all right here we go and I would just hold it down while it's drying just to make sure that all the tips stay down which I think it will because that's the way we've been doing all the other pieces all right and then we can glue down this teddy bear next and then readjust accordingly. So this piece has the flocks, the flock, <laughs> the flock uh, HTV, and you can just see it's so pretty. It, like the black, look at the black that pops out. Oh, I don't know if you can really see it. It's such a huge difference in person. So, all right, we're gonna glue this down. So I um, ironed on both colors, the black and the blue. You just want to continue making adjustments so what happens is that when you get to the end if something shifts too much if you continually make adjustments there's no one space that looks like it's too much because you're kind of spreading that error out into other pieces so it should still look really really good and like this one I can move this one down a little bit right okay all right so I'm going to see you back after I cut that piece and glue all this down. We're going to then put it on a foam board and I'll show you the streamer foam board on the back where we add, we do the streamers on the back so that you can see everything's black. So when someone sees the back, they know there's nothing back here to look at. Just continue to look at the beautiful face. 
All right. I will see you in just a little bit. All right. Thank you. Let me know what you want to see. Comments, questions. Um, I can clear that up in a um, in the blog. So um, on my website, the useless the .com, we always post like um, the final blog where it has all the pictures, all the links to the materials and the tutorials. So if you have any questions, it's an easy place for me to go and um, address the, you know, the, the most common questions there. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.